What is up my veggies? My name is VTR and welcome back to another movie review. And yes, I'm sitting in my kitchen because I wanted to try something a little different since no one else is home. I figured I'd sit in the kitchen and record this currently. Um, so right now we are going to be doing my review for the film King Richard, um, which is a movie based on Venus and Ser Serena Williams, but it's kind of to the, the tennis stars, but the movie's kind of taken from their father's perspective, mostly, um, and their father being played by Will Smith, um, automatically piqued my interest, and, and this was one of those movies where every time I went to go see a movie in theaters, I saw the trailer for King Richard, and I was like, yes, this is a movie I've got to go see. I saw it in theaters, not HBO Max, um, and my goodness was this a great film i enjoyed the heck out of this i don't usually get into these based on a true story sports films or sports films in general they've really never been my thing as i've gotten a little older i've come to appreciate them a little bit more but this one is one that's really stuck out to me and only a handful of these movies have like caught my attention from the first time i saw a trailer i was like that looks interesting. So I went. And, I bought my ticket. I went and saw it. And what did I think? Like I said, it was great. Um, now, if you're going, this movie is not really told from Venus Williams or um, Selena, Serena, Serena Williams' perspective. Uh, it's all from the father's perspective. They're still in the majority of the movie, but like, also, it, it movie. I don't know if anyone. The movie doesn't focus mostly on Serena's career. It's more like the start of Venus's career. Um, which I was trying to, like... I kept on hanging in my head while I was watching the movie. like, it's based on a true story. Keep in mind, this is what actually happened. I don't know all this stuff about all this. I never knew anything about these. Because uh, I don't know, like, tennis has never interested me. Um, but this movie... It's so nice. It is so f it is so heartwarming. And after the week that I had, uh, I needed a movie like this. I needed something, a feel-good film uh, that has heart and just legit just made me enjoy every single moment of this film. And it was a movie that I just straight up loved. I walked out of that movie saying that was really dang good. And I saw three movies that day, so and it was the best one I saw out of the, out of the three. And this movie just was such a love letter to these to the story and it's it's just so heartwarming. If I have any gripes is that like maybe like that some of the other like siblings and stuff aren't really focused on and only they're kind of just there that's the, but I guess that's like that's not the point of the movie um and sometimes you, you think you feel like it should be focused on more but I, my, my problem with reviewing movies like this uh is really trying to get into the negative aspects is the fact I, I go in thinking they tried to go as accurate to the, what actually happened as possible with movies like this. And for what they did, and I don't know exactly how everything, but I imagine the movie's pretty accurate to what actually happened. I don't quote me, but I, I feel like it is. I don't know, though. But the, the movie was a lot. And the, the tennis scenes, like, I never thought I'd be so entertained watching tennis. <laughs> like, those were enjoyable to watch. Like, how intense like the the scenes got the music definitely helps in some of those scenes especially in the the final the final uh tennis match in the movie like the music is like very well accompanying that and it's like Will Smith in this movie is is such a great character and he's a little rough and everything but like the way you see what this man's going through you see what he wants for his kids 
and you understand why he's doing what he's doing. And regardless what all these tennis coaches and everything are telling him, he's still like, no, this is how we're going to do it and everything. And the man sticks to his guns until a certain point where he talks to his daughter and he's like, like you want to do this? And part of me was like, you should have been saying it the whole time. Um, but, like, this is a great movie. I think the family's going to get the get the love out of it. It's it's so much fun. Um, I, like, it's just not the typical movie I go and see, but I enjoyed the heck out of it. Like, this is a simpler story, and it just, I don't think I've seen a movie that, I that made me that, that's so simple of a story since um, I can only imagine. Um, but this movie, I enjoyed the heck out of, and it. it's Will Smith at his best. It's one of his best roles, and most of what Will Smith is in, even if the movies aren't good, Will Smith's performance is normally pretty darn good, even if the movie's not good. So. I absolutely loved this film, and I would recommend it. And I'm, you don't want to see in theaters. I feel like this is not a must-see theater movie, but it, it's not on HBO Max. You can watch it on HBO Max, which I think is a great place to watch this. If It's a great family film. Like, The weekend, you got nothing else to do. Take your family to see it. Your family's going to love it. I think it's a it's a feel good movie and it's one of the best I've seen this year and I've seen a lot of good movies this year. And my goodness, my top 12 this year, which I said I get last year's done, is going to be difficult. But that's really all I have to say for this review. Um I, I, like I, my computer's upstairs and I recorded down here so I can't look at the Rotten Tomatoes score but as I'm mentioning it um, I love this movie and I am gonna have to give it I don't know if it's because I saw another movie that day that was not good uh, but this movie I've I didn't really see any problems with it so I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. I feel like that's a good, solid ground. Because this movie was fan freaking tastic, and I'm glad I saw it on the big screen. Like, it was, it felt long, but not like in a long, like, okay, the movie should have been over 30 minutes ago. No, like, it feels long. Like, these scenes are drawn out, but in a good way. Like,. If that makes sense, like, I've never really used that as a positive thing. But there's times where I looked at my watch and I was like, dang, the movie's still going. Awesome. Not like, oh, dang, this movie should have ended like 30 minutes ago. Like, no, it's, like, it doesn't feel too long. It feels long as it needs to be. And I loved it. And it was it was such a fun film. And it was I enjoyed the heck out of it. What did you guys think? Did you guys see King Richard? What did you guys think of it? Uh, did you see it in theaters? Did you see it on HBO Max? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you guys thought about this movie. Because I loved it. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. And um, I got an Encanto review coming soon. So keep that up. Keep, keep an eye out for that. So bye.